Hey guys, how's this going? I finally got a microphone, uh, like a proper microphone. Thank you for the feedback on that, uh, letting me know about how the audio was coming across to you guys. Uh, if it's if you're coming back, you know, welcome back. Uh, if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Lindsay Jane, and this is the channel where I'm exploring solar punk. Solar punk is a movement which is focusing on sustainability, transitioning to a 100% renewable energy civilization. There's a video that I filmed about it about a month ago. Go and check it out. Go and see what is solar punk if you want to explore it more and more in depth. Now, this video, if you've clicked on it, it's Maybe you're going and seeing if you can uh, relate to solar punk, if this is something that might be for you. Now, just giving a little bit of background as towards who I am and what I kind of have experience with with this, is that I'm an admin for a large uh, solar punk group on Facebook. Uh, and a lot of the time you tend to notice certain interests, certain traits with people that come and are interested in solar punk. And if you, this is something that you know, you've heard of and it might relate to you, then you know, why don't we go and get into 10 signs that you may be a solar punk? Number one, you want to live off 100% renewable energy. You recognize that there's no sense in living off of non-renewable energy and we need to change where we get our power from fast. Places all over the world are making the transition to renewable energy, from a local level to a countrywide level. You want to get on with this too, or you already have. Number two, you care about nature and the environment. We are a part of this planet, and trying to pretend that animals, plants, and all other living things are different from us has come to have some serious repercussions. You care about nature and our home, and this may manifest in many different ways. You may have an inordinate amount of houseplants, take care of animals in your area, spend time outdoors as much as you can, or do environmental cleanups. Heck, if it's accessible to you, you may have made the choice to be vegetarian. Whatever your choices are, it's centered around being part of the natural world and taking care of living things. Three, you try to live sustainably. Do you have a reusable water bottle on you? What about your own bag for carrying things in your day-to-day? -day? Do you try to make eco-friendly choices with what you buy and do? If something breaks, do you repair it instead of buying a new one? Do you think about how your actions may have an impact before you make them? Then you try to live sustainably. In our world and the current system we're working under, it can be difficult to make sustainable choices. However, if you're trying, at least then that counts. Number four, you're tired of doom and gloom. The constant narratives that are being pushed about the future are often very dark and can be incredibly draining. It can be hard to feel hopeful or driven to do things when you keep hearing about all the darkness in the world right now. You want something different. You want something other than the doom and gloom. Number five, you want to create positive change. You want to create change that would make the world into a better place. It can be daunting to think of trying to change the world, but even just making small positive changes for yourself and com your community can make all the difference. Wanting to create this positive change is a good sign that you're a solar punk. Number six, you want to become more self-reliant. Knowing how to take care of yourself and do things for yourself is something that used to be a lot more common before a certain point. Being able to repair your own clothes, grow your own food, make your own furniture, and more. While it can be intimidating to try and learn all these skills, you want to and want to be able to rely on your own two hands to help yourself and your community. Maybe you already even have these skills. Number seven. You want things to be designed with both form and function. The world is a beautiful place, especially if we work to make it so. This means putting thought into the things you own or make and the things around you. It's important for things to work well, last well, and look good. 
Similarly to the ideas in the arts and crafts movement, you believe that everyday objects can have their own beauty to them. You have a greater appreciation for handmade and local objects and can see the art in everything. Number eight, you're adaptable. Sometimes facing the challenges that life brings means coming up with creative, compassionate, and collaborative solutions, and you relish that. You adapt quickly to different situations, or try to, and know that in order to bring what you need to the table, you may have to be creative, learn a new skill, or ask for help. A willingness to listen and learn can make all the difference, and you have that. You know that solutions may not always be perfect, but that they're necessary in order to overcome challenges. Number nine, you care for other people and try to be compassionate. Throughout human history, humans have flourished through collaboration and community rather than competition. You care about other people and their plights and want to see others do well along with you. Social movements speak to you, such as Black Lives Matter, LGBT+, and others to try and bring equality, equity, and compassion to those in need. You bring this into your day-to-day -day life through being good to others and remembering that we're all in this together. And finally, number 10, you want to be optimistic. You want to face the future with a sense of hope and optimism. While this can be difficult, you look for the good news about current events and look for others who are fighting the good fight. Know that there are others out there who are trying their best to keep things good in our lives and that there are others who want to be optimistic about the future. Keep it up, solar punk. Did any of these resonate with you? Let me know in the comments down below. It would be great to go and have people, more people be part of our community. It's been really cool seeing everyone who's come along and joined and just brought all sorts of neat creations and ideas into the groups. This video is dedicated to my very supportive solar punk community. I love interacting with you guys and going and getting to hear about what you're working on and hearing your opinions on different project ideas that I'm working on. Thank you for being there and being so supportive. Just letting you know what's coming up on my channel next. I'm going to be doing a book review on uh, Sun Vault, which is a compendium of different solar punk and eco speculation stories, poems, artwork, things like that. It's going to be broken up into different videos, so let me, uh, let me know what else you want to be seeing in the future and stay tuned for that video. Let me know if there's any suggestions or ideas on things in the future that you'd like to see and have a great day! Thank you.